Hello everyone, welcome to town. As you can see, I have a lot of things we should be cleaning up in town. We have way too many objects lying around everywhere, scattered all around. So I want to look into getting some place to store all those goods somewhere. We're also over here building our new cookhouse and we also do some palisades of course on this side over here. So I'm gonna help them a little bit with throwing in a little bit of a ladder. And today I also want to show you guys a really awesome building trick that you might find useful that I myself did not know until about a week ago. So let me show you guys the building trick before we start cleaning up in town. We already had some containers queued up for that. But I, what I want to show you guys is something really, really useful. So when you use a block tool, there is like a hidden feature in the game. So you build like that, right? And you can click and drag. You can click and drag. But if you hold the shift key, you see how it changes? That allows you to move this thing around however you want. And what do that to do? It gives you the power to do modular building, kind of. Because then you can imagine that I will build this piece over here. And when that is built, I have another piece that would be at the side of this. So I would have a new building that would be in like, let's say for, for fun, let's make it like a roof. Just to kind of illustrate. So then when this would be built, I would hold shift, drag it over, push it up. And when this below is built, this will go red when you move it up and down again. So that way, if you want to, you can actually make modular castles or buildings and have separate pieces. But it's important to use the block tool. It's specifically for that. So if I would use a combination of different things. So let's say I have this one. And then I have, uh, let's say a wall up here. It does not move the wall, as you can see. So that's important. And also if I do another one with blocks up here. It only moves whatever is connected to this one. So I can move these two independently. So that's pretty awesome, isn't it? And uh, you might even be able to combine them. Not sure, maybe, maybe not. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we can't combine them. But you can see that gives a lot of powers to move around things and make m buildings in multiple parts. So that is something I will be looking into in the future to make like a modular thing. It could be really cool to make like a castle. You can imagine you have like a base of a house that would be a castle. Just to illustrate, you would have like a tall castle or a tall tower. And it would end like on top like that. But then it would be different tower piece that you can fit on top of this that would look different. So you can select whatever piece you have. And then with the block tool, you would just move it into the correct place because you can drag this around, right? So I just wanted to show you guys this because this is something I didn't know until like a week ago. And I think it has a lot of potential powers to be created with that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So uh, we got some, oh wow, loads of wild game. Maybe we have to go deal with them. Wild game has been sighted, yes, my lord. So a lot of cleaning needs to be done, and maybe guys, should we do like a storage house to store all these things? That would be pretty handy, right? So that would be great. So this place over here is kind of limited. I want to have the storage house. It would be nice to have it by the water. We do have a little bit in the crane house, however. And over here, blocking the garden, that's not something we're gonna do. Uh, these trees over here, I'm gonna stunt them already. I feel like I'm happy with how big they are. They're looking pretty beautiful in that size. So that's where we're gonna stunt them so they don't keep growing. But maybe over here we can have a storage house or we will have it deeper in town or I think this one... Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna chop this one down. And maybe we can move these uh, markers also away and we can make a little storage house down here maybe. That would be nice. Yeah. Or here. It could also be here, but then we have to remove the road and redo that. So I think we'll do a storage house over here. And uh, let's carry away these market stalls. And I'm just gonna throw them at the place where I'm probably not gonna be needing to move them for a while. But later on we can make it like a real marketplace. Okay, there we go. Got them all moved over. So let's see if the blacksmith I queued up to do a little bit of things. 
So we're trying to level up and um, reach so we can do this one or these ones. But we need to be level 5 for that one and level 6 for this one. So we have a little bit of leveling to be done still. And yeah, we do have some iron ore, so that's good. And we should have two blacksmiths again. Eve and Elias. Eve is level 1 and Elias is level 4, almost halfway, like a third of the way at least. So that's great. Okay, so let's see if we're gonna move this away, then we're gonna make like a little storage house. We unlock some moon bells, nice, and we can grow them as well. I think I might do, like this arc we have over here, I think I might do one over here as well later on. Or something else, we will see. They want two maize and iron and chisel, okay. That was a new one, they always want some plushy toys, but yeah, let's try that. Maze and iron chisel, let's see if we can do that. I'm gonna do three because I'm not sure if I have one, because if we do have one, they will equip it. Blacksmith level 2, very nice. A family of woodchucks. What? What is this thing? A family of woodchucks. Ah. What? I never seen these before. A voracious eater of almost everything, especially logs. Okay. I guess we have to deal with them. <laughs> There's only two of them. I hope they can eat up my building. That would be terrible, right? Charge! Take down the woodchucks. <laughs> Maybe they can eat up the doors. Okay, not, ah, they're going a big way around. Let's give my people a bit of speed. And catch up to them. We're pretty much running in circles around them. <laughs> Good job, my people. Okay, we're almost catching up to them. Who's this? Roloff, the Goblin Crusher. Almost made it up with him. They're about to go to the bridge. And now they're, are they running away? Are they scared now? It looks like they are. Hey, where are you trying to go? Let's go get this guy trying to do things. i never seen these guys before, actually. There we go. So, I think that was all of those. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so now we have a little, little bit more space. And I think maybe for storage house, should we have different kind of roofs for it? Sometimes I like to add like a different flavor to roof color to a building, just to make them pop out from the rest of the town a little bit. And I think a suiting color for this would be a red brownish color. We do use the brown over here, so we can use that on this one as well. Or we can use the same, we could also do that. Okay, we're gonna check this one out first. Ronya, one more time. When Ronya appears for the last time, it is with a golden banner in her hands. It is a twin to the one in town we embarked with. So long ago, she tilts her head with a smile and gestures at the horizon. She doesn't need to speak, half is waiting. Reembarking allows you to carry up to three citizens, ten items, and all the unlocked recipes when starting a new town. That's pretty cool, and I think I have the mod, yeah, we can bring 5 people and 15 items instead. But nothing we're gonna do now, now. but maybe when we go to the next town, after this one, we might use the reembarkation and uh, bring a few people with us. That could be fun, because I haven't done so in a very long time. But yeah, and storage house, this is a house that needs to have a lot of potential space and place for storage. So it's got to be a fairly big house. So what I'm going to do first, I want to elevate it up. I'm going to be using a little bit of rock as a foundation. And let's go 17 by 25. And then let's increase the height. And I'm actually going to have this one so it goes right next to our little bridge over here. And then we're going to make it so we can go up here. Uh, maybe, let's see, 5 from the edge. Maybe like that. 
And then I'm thinking that we will have on the outside, we might only use this for the house. Something like that, and this could be another extra space. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Ah, maybe we should dig down this one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make a fun building. So, let's start with some walls. And like I said before, now we can move this entire thing if we want to. Everything. So we can make it like a foundation, a pre-made foundation and move it around, right? That can be useful when we get our remake buildings. Okay, so now we're gonna be making uh, some walls and they're uh, gonna recolor and change it around. Something like that. I'm thinking of pushing it in one block and maybe one on this side too. Uh, yeah, let's do one on every side. Like so, there we go. And then, let's get a beautiful door. So this one's gonna be a reinforced stone frame door. Gonna sit in a beautiful lay in the middle. Or should we have two doors? Yeah, two doors might feel more like a storage house. What do you guys think? We can have a big door as well. But I think two doors works very nicely here. And uh, we wanna change the floor. We can go for an... I guess we could have a stone floor. That would make sense for storage, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's go for that. And maybe the bottom, yeah, it could be a stone on the outside as well, why not? Might work pretty good. So this building might pop out from my other buildings slightly. We're gonna see how we're gonna be able to vikingify it, but um, it may be popping out from everything else a little bit. And I like to cut away a little bit of corners here and there somewhere for buildings. So that's gonna be great. And... Uh, hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna try a thing. I wanna have kind of like, like a roof over here. So I'm gonna add some support. Like, let's say. Uh, they need to have at least three in height under here. So that. Or oh, maybe one more. Another one over here. And another one over there. And then we could use a uh, roof. Throw it on top over here. So it could be like that. And uh, another one over there. Like so. And I'm getting some ideas now for this one in my head. So, um, uh, sometimes I also like to do that. Cut away the corners for these. We're gonna see if that's a good or a bad idea. I like to do a bit of experiments. I feel like I learn a lot that way. Okay, that's pretty good. However, I'm also gonna beautify it before we go any further. Throw in a little bit of texture to this. This is a pattern I like to do on many houses. Every second one. There we go. And uh, while we're at it, we're gonna go a little bit different. This time we're gonna be coloring things before we go too far, so you guys can see the process earlier on. But I generally like to do a lot of the big parts first and then come back for details later. I think it's a pretty good process of doing it that way. So there we go, and maybe the edge will also be like that. Yeah, that's better, I think. And perhaps these could be a little bit brighter. Just to make them stand out from the roof. Okay, there we go. So. I wonder how high this building should be. We could just keep this height almost like that. Yeah, I think we will. I was thinking of doing a roof, potentially that would be like that and kind of tall. Um, yeah, I think we can experiment with that first. Like I said before, I do like to do experiments because that way you can find ways that uh, you didn't even know existed, kind of. Yes, experiment, see what kind of come up with, just like working with clay, I guess. So now we're just gonna remove one block at a time, and when we get up here, now we start to kind of go a bit more aggressive with roofing, and then let's go here. Let's kind of do the same on both sides, and I think it was around here we started to go up to maybe the next one. Ah, the next one, okay. There we go. And another thing I'm thinking of doing is that maybe, maybe we can have this roof to keep going. 
So we can remove parts and parts by that way. I'm not entirely sure, I might not do that also. Uh, however, I might want to take these and push it out one, like so. Same with this one. Push it out. And then we add a bit of support from underneath. Yeah, let's go for a thick one over there and a little bit of a thinner one at the sides. And this one we don't really need to do it. Okay, but we do have to do something with the sides because it's gonna look if weird if it slopes like that and then flat. That's not gonna be... not gonna look very good, I think. So... Maybe they can be their own kind of roofs if we lower this a bit. I think we're gonna start first with throwing a roof on this thing, and then we're gonna figure it out. And this one we're gonna remove one block at the side later, I think. And I do that because I want to have like a little bend at the very end of it. It's kinda nice. Gives it a little bit more of character, I would say. So the cool thing I showed you guys before with moving blocks, it also, you know, it works with roofs. So maybe you have like a pre-made roof. And if you made these parts with the roof as well, you could easily like create pre-made roofs and you can split up buildings into different parts and then you can make more kinds of building with the same parts and reuse it. So this entire thing is not going to move because they are not really connected as you can see. Uh, but this one's going to be. And when we keep adding because I usually do this thing and connect them that way. So I'm gonna show you guys with this little bend that does at the end over here. So this is how I like to do it. And because we're doing these, they're kind of connecting in between here, which makes the, them connected as well. So they will become one. And that way we can hide the entire thing easier. And then we will also be able to move the entire thing. There we go, and uh, then we drop that on top. So let me show you guys now. Look at that, we can remove it and move it around whenever. And you know, if we remove everything else, we can save this as a template and reuse it however we want, right? And that's some pretty awesome powers, I would say. Let's see how it would look if we go straight out here with the roof. I don't think it's gonna look good. I'm pretty sure it won't. Maybe we do that. Mm, I don't know. I don't... I don't really like that. However, maybe, maybe... We could maybe do a smaller roof over here. That connects with that one. Let's give it a try might be pretty sweet. And this one doesn't have to be ag very aggressive, just like that. And we can keep removing at the sides to make them connected as well. And then we have to do a little bit of fiddling around here as well. I think we have to go like that, I think. So maybe remove a bit more. Okay, I think this might... I think it just might work. And uh, we could have done also like that, but you can see now I'm, I'm moving the entire thing. So I may want to go back with that a bit and redo it to get it the way I want it to be. And by the way, if you guys haven't already, feel free to download my template from this town. It's a Steam Workshop download, so you can use the same town as I got over here. Not the same town, but the same buildings. 
and uh, not all buildings has been added yet, they will be eventually, uh, but uh, there's a lot of buildings to play around with. So now we're moving that out, and uh, I would recommend as well when you do these things, do the same thing on both sides. It's gonna be a lot of easier, because it's gonna, it's gonna be risky if you do one side entirely and then go to the other side, it can be kinda hard to copy exactly what you just did at the other side. So then we keep going down one block at a time, it's gonna bend in here. And then we have to do one lower over here. That should be great. Okay, over to the other side. There we go. And uh, let's do this little thing, like so. There we go, and then we're gonna do a little bit of roofing. And what we can do here, this will save a little bit of resources and everything. Since we know it's going to be covering that, we can might as well remove those spots, right? So, like over here, we want to remove that one. And probably this as well, like so. Okay, so now we do a little check, so we can see that we have a little bit to remove, that one's gonna go away, and uh, let's see for the sides. There we go, and uh, let's add in these little wind boards. They're kinda like bending out all the way up here. Let's see how this turns out. Ah, I think that's pretty good actually, pretty good. That's what I like. I like experimenting, thinking about an idea like, ah, that might be pretty good. And finding out that, whoa, that was pretty good. Pretty nice. There we go, and then we have to cover that little hole. And I'm gonna do that after we're done this side. Same yeah, that's a pretty nice house. They're not pretty good. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. It's fun when something you do turns out in a way that you kind of feel like, oh, that's pretty nice. And I hope you guys are liking this more of a design video. And over here, we. I wonder if I should just end the roof like that. I don't know. We could kind of connect them if we want to. I'm not sure if what I will do there, but I might do that. However, when we do it in the back, it's gonna be a little bit different. But I think that's fine. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, d I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not. We will find out later on and I don't know, should I have that in stone or not? I think I want to have that in stone. There we go. So we need, I think we should have some windows or something on this. It might not have to be windows, it could be like a sign or something. Do we have like a storage sign maybe? Sign, storage sign post marker. Uh, I have something, stockpile signs. 
I kind of like this one in metal. That's a pretty good one. And yeah, they can, they can definitely walk under that. Or we can keep it all the way up there. Or we will keep it over here. That might make a lot of sense. Uh, we also have this one. You can hang that banner if you want to somewhere. Or maybe it could be hanging at the very, very top of the building. I feel like we need to do some kind of interesting design on the front. Maybe we can make it look like it's a crate. I don't know if that's a good idea, but maybe we can make it look like it's like a crate somehow. Doesn't look very much like a crate, but I think I might do some design instead. I kind of like doing those shapes pretty nice. Do the same in the back. There we go. That looks already a lot better. Because a storage house we don't really need, I would say, too many windows, do we? It's pretty good without windows. Okay, so let's do a little bit of uh, coloring and we're gonna probably speed this up so you guys don't have to see the entire thing. We are recoloring the roof pretty much. Throwing in colors here and there. So let's go. Okay, there we go, and uh, we're also going to be covering these holes we have over here. So we're going to use the same color. There we go, it's kind of covered, and then we have another one over here. And the same for the other side. Okay, it should be covered now. Good, very nice. So, that is looking pretty good. I kind of like that. However, we should set a little bit of Viking theme for this one. And I'm thinking that this build might be in two parts. Like maybe today we do the outside of this and later on in maybe the next video we work on more the inside because it's a long long build to do. But I like to do something like this. You can imagine this would be like an almost like a viking ship. Could look like that. There we go. That makes it better and then we have to do the same thing over here. Like that, very nice. And another thing we can do if we want to, we can add in these things. I'm not sure if we need them for this one. We're gonna go without them. Maybe we can just do some colors, so wherever we have one. We add our color down here. There we go. And if we want to, we can do the same thing for this one. Maybe, I don't know. Do I want that? I think I don't want it. I'm gonna go back. Okay. So, I think it's looking pretty good, guys. And then we're gonna be adding a lot of things to this one. We're gonna be adding, like, probably some barrels outside. It's kind of nice to have some barrels here and there, right? But that's going to be for the next episode. I'm going to be keeping adding in decorations and so on. And we're going to work basically a lot on the decoration side, the storage side and so on to make it beautiful. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I also hope you enjoyed our building. Do let me know what you think about it. If there's something you think I we should change this one. So this one is supposed to contain a lot, a lot of storage. And uh, also, we might be going down to the below with making like a little stairway down. So we can go into basement and we can dig that out after. But guys, thanks for checking out this episode. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. I want to thank my members here on YouTube as well for supporting me. Super kind of you guys, you're awesome. And I'll see you guys soon, soon again. So thanks for watching today's episode and see you guys next time. Take care everyone. Have a good one.